how your winter's gonna go? Let's take a look into this deck and find out. Hopefully this deck has the perfect spread to see what's on the way for this winter. So this first card is where you are currently, and this is the darkest hour. When the moon disappears from the sky, it is going through a rebirth, but it is also not illuminated at the moment, and that is where you are. And essentially what this is to say is that you've just been going through it. <laughs> and with the darkest hour always comes a longing for hope. This card is what you need to let go of, and this is Storm. And whenever a storm comes up, it can talk about like big up changes to your life, things that just totally you know, knock down the foundations of everything. These are changes that none of us really want to deal with. But this is what you need to let go of. And what it's saying is you need to let go of the idea that something huge and cataclysmic is on the way. Nothing is coming for you, but good things. You need to let go of the idea that there is bad on the way for you or that you are deserving of that. And in addition, we need to break down the limiting beliefs that no longer serve us that have us thinking this way to begin with. Rather than asking, why does this keep happening to me? Ask yourself, why am I so blessed? Stop focusing on the bad. Where attention goes, intention flows, and your brain will just continue to reiterate that if we don't break down these patterns. If you think something bad is coming, you will it will be like a self-fulfilling prophecy, unfortunately, because the way that our energy centers work and the way that our brain works, if we have a belief, it shoots out things to reify it. It does not try to invalidate it. It tries to say, yes, we are correct. So this is how people can manifest and trick themselves. And, you know, it's just little things you do to your brain, but we got to let the go of the whole everything is, is on fire. What we need to embrace, and this card is feasting. So what we need to embrace is having enough, letting ourselves enjoy what we have, being grateful for what we have, enjoying life, celebrating life, gathering with others, with loved ones, finding loved ones, making friends. This card talks about how, you know, our ancestors didn't have their food guaranteed through the winter and how times could get kind of tough and they really celebrated the moments of wins and how we need to do that as well. As I said, where attention goes, intention flows. So if you're focusing on all the gratitude and all the good things in life and all the celebrations you have, that is what your brain will continue to serve you. This is our card of what's to come if we release that stuff and then embrace that stuff. This is our future card and it's a great one. This is Cold Moon. So the cold moon is a full moon in January, and it brings illumination and clarity. And in this spread, it comes to show how many resources are available to you. It even goes on to say that if we're focusing on all the bad, we can't see the good, which really reiterates what was said earlier, and that things that have kind of escaped your notice will be visible, and that all of these unexpected resources will become available to you.